Welcome to this video. Over this whole series about Vue, Viewdefy, and Firebase, we achieved a lot. We built a whole application with sign up, sign in, the ability to create meetups, to register for them, to edit them, date and time pickers, so much stuff. Now, our store file also grew quite a bit. It's really long. And it's already a bit unmaintainable, to be honest. Now, it would make sense to split it up into modules, and this is exactly what we'll do in this video. So let's split our store file into modules. Now, let's first analyze which modules would make sense. Well, in my opinion, we got mainly two topics in this application. We got user-related stuff, sign up, sign in, and so on. And we got meetup-related stuff. Now, of course, there are some overlappings, but in general, this is how I see it. So it would make sense to probably create these two modules. The question, of course, always is, what is something like registering? Is that user or is that meetup related? Because a user registers for a meetup, not really either of the two, right? So maybe we need a third, uh, a third module, the registration module. Let's go with that. I'll create three new folders in the store. User, registration, and of course, meetup. And in these uh, folders there, I want to store my modules. Now you could go super granular and outsource your actions and your rotations into different files. Now I'll see if I do that. I'll start by creating different pieces. So a file with all actions and mutations for the user part, a file with all actions and mutations for the meetup part and so on. So I'll create new index.js files in all of these folders like that. Here in the user. And now let's split it up. Now splitting it up can be yeah, not really difficult, but you have to be careful that you don't mess things up because handling or working with the state can differ from how you did it before, depending on how interweaved your different parts are. But we'll see how it goes. So I'll take the cheap approach here and copy everything in my main index.js file and copy it into the meetup file. And now I'll simply start removing stuff. So let's start at the top. In the state, loaded meetups. Makes sense to have it here. User, not so much. Loading, probably yes. Error, yeah, do we even use that? I, I don't think so. So still, let's leave it in there. Uh, we'll see if we use it here. Register user for meetup and unregister. Definitely can get rid of these mutations. Loaded meetups, makes sense. Create meetup and update meetup. These are all mutations which make sense in a meetup store. Set user, doesn't make sense. Set loading, makes sense. Set error, well, let's see if we use it, but makes sense, clear error as well. Now here, actions, register user for meetup and unregister. Definitely don't need that here. Load meetups, makes sense to have it here. Create meetup, makes sense and update meetup also makes sense. Sign user up, nope, that definitely doesn't belong here. The same for sign user in and for auto sign in. Fetch user data, also sounds like a user related task to me. So why don't we get rid of that too? The same with logout. Clear error, I'll leave it here. Seems like we use it somewhere, I must have forgotten where. So I'll leave it here. So that is now my, my setup here, much leaner already. The gathers, of course, also need to be cleaned up. Loaded meetups, makes sense. Featured, loaded, makes all sense. The user doesn't make sense here. So now I got my meetup um, store set up here, though in the end it will all be merged into one central store. So it's not really different stores, it's just one part. Let me continue. I'll copy everything from the main index file again and go to registrations. Now there again, what's inside the state here? Now, one thing we have is that in the mutation for the register user meetup, we of course access the user. So that is something which makes me lean towards using this in our users module, because it is connected to it. We need access to the user state here. So maybe we don't really need a registration module. Maybe that rather belongs to the user module because we change the user when we do register or unregister. 
we don't change the meetups. So I'll get rid of registration and instead copy everything into the user index.js file. Now there, let's move through it. Loaded meetups, we don't need that here. The user, we need it. A loading an error, yeah, let's leave it here. Registering, we need that. Loaded meetups, create meetup, update meetup. We don't need that here in the user file. Set user, that makes sense. Set loading, probably. Same for the errors. Actions, create, uh, register users, makes sense. Load meetups, we don't need that. Create, we don't need that. And update, we also don't need that. So now, whoops, we have just as a next method, sign user up and in and auto sign in and fetch user data. So quite a lot of user related actions here, but now we at least focus on that in this file. And as I said, you could go more granular and even outsource the actions into their own file and so do for the mutations. With that, let's go down to the getters. Loaded meetups, we don't need that. Featured and loaded, we also don't need that. We need the user and I'll leave loading an error here. So now we get two state files in the two different modules. Of course, we now need to merge them together. We do that in the main index.js file. Now in the main index.js file, let's remove everything in this Vuex store constructor, everything, so that we only pass an empty object to it. And we don't need Firebase in this file now. Here, we now instead add modules as a key. And this is a JavaScript object where we now merge these modules. You can now define any names you want, maybe meetup for your meetup module. And the value now needs to be, of course, a reference to your exported meetup module. So there I'll import meetup from slash meetup. And that's enough that will automatically pull the index.js file. Assign this as a value. And the same for user. There I'll import user from user and store it here. And this will map it into this. Now one problem we'll have is that in these files, we export stores and that is wrong. We shouldn't export stores in these files. We should export JavaScript files, uh, objects like this. Export maybe a default object, which then has state and so on, that is okay, but not new Vuex store. For that reason, we can get rid of Vuex in here and also of view. We don't need to register that. That's simply an empty file where we just register or export a JavaScript object. So that's all, just a JavaScript object we export. The same for the user file. Get rid of all the imports and of the initialization. Not all the imports, we need Firebase, but of the initialization. And then simply export a default JavaScript object, not more. Now we merge these objects into our store together here. The question just is, does it now work like this? Let's save it and see if it works. It compiled, but now we get an error. Duplicate getter, getter kill loading and error. The problem we have is that in both index and user, we have a getter named loading and error. And that of course is suboptimal. Now, the question is, which of these do we really use? Well, we need it actually in both. We want to show a loading bar or a loading spinner whilst we are signing in, signing up. And we also want to show one when we're fetching uh, meetups or creating meetups. So just splitting up like this will generate new problems. What we will have to do is be clear about which getters we want to access and how we use them. Now, to fix that issue with loading an error, we can basically create like a shared state. So let's create shared because loading and error are basically not really connected to either a user or a meetup. We have operations in both uh, modules which can make this relevant. So here I'll copy this code from the uh, meetup index.js file and add it to a new index.js file which is stored in the shared folder. Now here I'll paste it in and now I want to get rid of all this state except for loading an error and I'll get rid of all the mutations except for the mutations setting, loading and error. And you guessed it, the same for the actions. Only the actions relating to errors and so on should be set. 
So I think we have no action, which is called set loading or stuff like that. So we only have clear error as action, like that. And finally, in the getters, we also only have loading and error. And I can now go to the user, actually to both, to the meetup module two, and get rid of error and loading there. Make sure to get rid of all the actions and all the getters and so on, all the mutations related to loading and error. So everything here in the mutations as well, as well as in the state, because we will now manage this in a shared folder. The same for the user. Get rid of user and, uh, excuse me, of error and loading, of clear error, and in the mutations, clear error, set error, set loading, and of our two states. Now let's add it to our store, shared here, should be imported from the shared folder. So I'll assign it here. And let's now save it and see if this works. Well, I got an error, let's see which it is. Linting problem. Firebase is never used in the shared uh, index.js file, which makes sense because there I just copied everything in, but of course the Firebase import is needed there. We don't reach out to Firebase in there. That's the wrong file, shared index. Here, we never reach out to Firebase. So with that, let's save it and let's reload our application. And now this should work really fine. If I register, confirm, this seems to work. The reason for this is that Vue.js, Vuex, exposes our state, we merge together here, to our whole application. So we can still commit to set loading and so on, even though that's in a different Vuex module, because again, it's merged together globally. So if in the index.js file, in the meetup folder, we call set loading or we commit this, we're actually committing this to set loading in the shared index.js file, because again, Vuex behind the scenes merges it all together into one global store. We only split it up for readability reasons. In the end, you could merge that all together into one file again and have the same result as before. So now with that, we got a finished application. We cleaned up our store. As I said, you could split it up even more by splitting these files into different files where you have just the actions, just the mutations. But then in the end, you would just have JavaScript objects with, for example, this content in an extra file, import it and assign your import as a value for mutations here. This is the finished project. Feel free to enhance it, to continue working on it, to practice with it. It's not perfect. There are things you can improve. There are things you can add. But I hope it was a great practice and I hope you enjoyed working with it. We added a lot of features. I hope you learned a lot about Beautify, Vue.js and Firebase. And there will be more projects in the future. I'm really looking forward to that and I can't wait to see you again. Bye.